Geometric dimensioning and tolerancing is a way to communicate design specifications for manufactured products. It was developed by Stanley Parker in the late 1930s. Before GD and T, designers would discuss with manufacturing personnel how to locate specific features on a drawing. However, during the war, many parts had to be made by external manufacturers, leading to confusion and errors. GD and T was introduced to solve this problem by providing clear and consistent instructions for everyone involved in the manufacturing process. It eliminates misunderstandings and ensures that everyone understands the required dimensions without any interpretation. Geometric dimensioning and tolerancing is a special language used in engineering to communicate design specifications. It includes symbols, definitions, math formulas and rules to describe how a part should be made. GD and T shows the ideal measurements and allowed variations for a part. The cool thing is that it's expressed using drawings, symbols and numbers so people from different countries can understand it. It's the main language used worldwide and is approved as the standard by important organizations like ASME, ANSI and the US Department of Defense. It's equally important to understand what GD and T is not. It is not a creative design tool because it cannot suggest how certain part surfaces should be controlled. It cannot communicate design intent or any information about a part's intended function. GD and T can only express what a surface shall be. It's incapable of specifying manufacturing processes for making it so. Likewise, there is no vocabulary in GD and T for specifying inspection or gauging methods. To summarize, GD and T is the language that designers use to translate design requirements into measurable specifications.